Look at that Florida sunset. It's beautiful. We're doing something fun. We're going to a revolving sushi place. We're eating at Kura Sushi in Orlando. But look at this sunset. Always catch a good sunset. Love it. Let's eat. sushi is the first of its kind in America to bring conveyor belt style sushi from Japan with 20 locations in the U.S. and over 500 locations across Japan, Taiwan, and the U.S. As of the filming of this video, the sushi per plate cost is $3.55. I'll explain a little bit more about how the plates work and everything once we get to our table. Thank you so much. It is, yes. Just look at all these sushi options. So these plates here are $3.55 and after 15 plates, you get a little prize. This is the peanuts. So they're doing peanuts. Receive a free prize for every 15 sushi plates. Oh, and there's a new item, Chew High. Looks like a little drink. The QR code. And also the menu. Look, five salmon. And tuna? How do we get a drink? House wines. Oh, here's your sodas. And then here's like the draft beers. I just want to teach you how it works. Okay. You just put your finger behind the plate, then you push. You take the plates. All right. There's a surprise, so. Oh, you're ready to get it. I'm ready. I just want to just uh, throw the plates. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, is it like a Bud Light? Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Here is a closer look at the little prizes that you can get after your 15 plates. There's a QR code that you can scan to take a closer look. The theme this month is peanuts. All right, let's start filling some uh, seared salmon with miso cream. Should I try it? It'll come back around. Seared eel with miso. The spider roll though. Here comes the crunchy roll. This is so fun. Here's a look at the drink menu that's on the table. If you guys wanted to pause and take a look at that, it's also on the screen if you want to scroll through. Oh, you got to place the order. There you go. Okay, so drink order's been placed. Spicy popcorn. Which one was this one? Texan roll. Texan roll. I was going to. Oh, it would be this one. That's good, right? Thank you. Thank you. Mm. So this is a shrimp.
draw some split. Ooh, I want to draw some octopus. I did not really like the uni. I'm sad about that because I really thought I would. But that was very fishy. He's very ocean fishy, like a raw oyster. Eggs. Oh, what is this? Akura. Oh, that's what I just ate. That was really good. I like that one. Negarito. Real crappy. What's it, Anari? This was octopus. Octopus. Uh, how do you pick this up? Oh no. My rice. You can see the tentacles and everything. I can't get it. Good. Should I start calling Mark? That was like, this would be eight. I didn't even see what was in this. That bite was way too big, but absolutely delicious, which I am a fan of roe and fish eggs. Take a look at this sunset. We got a nice little sunset view from our booth here. We thought the robot brought beers to you, but that's not the case. So we're gonna order some waters. So we can see, what was the right? Yeah, let's try a full one shot. Oh, or some sake. This beer is actually really good. You've had this before? Did you have it in Japan? Yeah, that was delish. I'd get another one, but there's only one piece, and that that guy was really good. This little syrup salmon with the seared salmon. Here we go. Stephen doesn't like seared salmon as much as I do. Will you try a piece? No? <laughs> Did you place your order? Yeah, two waters. Two waters? Thank you. I'm going back. I'm going to give you one more. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see different ones come through now. Yeah, the crab is really good. I think that might be... That's not spicy mayo. Would they just use a regular mayo? Would it be on here? There was an American beef one. Do you see that? Shrimp mayo. That's what that is. That's what that is, though. Shrimp mayo. That's what's up. Let me get an inside look at that. I'm gonna get this little robot guy coming back too.
if you didn't want to eat 15 plates of sushi, you can buy the prizes for $3.55. Had you had that before you went to Vegas? So that the first time we had it was in Vegas. So they only give you one piece. The good stuff they only give one piece of. Yeah, that was. I'm still working on the second one of that. That was a lot. But if you don't know what's on the roll, you can actually just go. Because we were curious about the Texan roll, so you can actually see that it says the ingredients of what's on it. And what was the one we were just talking about? Babe? The hamburger. What would that be hot food, do you think? No. There it is. So sushi rice, hamburger steak, and eel sauce. So I was right. Yeah, eel sauce. Ooh, this. I know I'm not ready for dessert either, but I, I definitely want to try that. I want to try the um, the little fish box thing, but because it's not part of like the plates. Steven ordered the wasabi and they actually have their own secret recipe here. You can scan the QR code to see some of their secrets for their wasabi recipe, but it's authentic wasabi here. Here comes our prize for eating so much sushi. Let's see what our little peanuts prize is. Oh, it's a little peanuts pin. It's Snoopy and I think that's Lucy. How cute. And mistakes were made. But they will give you a little box for your leftovers. So, 16 plates. Should we, well, we're gonna sit and have our beers because you know, we ordered and they got full. So, beers to partake in and maybe some dessert. ready to check out so we're gonna follow the prompts on the screen okay so it tells you here that the red plate underneath the edamame can go and then the I haven't seen the green swirl plate maybe it was under one of the desserts mostly it was the blue and white so we'll put, the, put our zip code self check out oh cool okay dang shouldn't have got those waters you know and that's what put it over the edge not to be completely weird but i just used the restrooms and i have to show y'all these toilets that are in here this is a very high-tech toilet the seat was warmed which i was not expecting but very spacious in the bathroom and it has a light that comes on. It's like motion censored and there's even a remote and I have no idea what you would even do with the functions on this remote. This is by far the most high tech toilet that I have ever come across. So um, yeah, there is the restrooms at Kura Sushi. Wow. Gorgeous artwork here. I really love the atmosphere in here. It's a really cool layout, very spacious. The way they have the conveyor belt going through the restaurant is just amazing. Still trying to get this beer down, which was a mistake after 16 plates of food. Some of the mistakes that we made that we could have done different. I think we probably could have gotten some of the bikes that had four pieces or two pieces on it and split that. That ended up being a lot of food. Trying things that we didn't really know if we were going to like. Again, kind of like, you know, 
mishap on some of those because the sea urchin was not a favorite of mine. But an extra beer, that was probably the biggest mistake of the entire time because these this beer is uh, sending it over the top. Kura Sushi is an absolutely unforgettable experience. We stuffed our faces with some of the most delicious sushi I've ever had. We tried some things, some new things, some things I didn't like, some things I did. But what an amazing experience. I love anywhere where you can get prizes for what you eat and also have a robot bring you drinks as well. I mean, how cool is that? That's just kind of new age love that we'll definitely be back in the future this is not going to be our only time at a revolving sushi restaurant also there's some new hot pot restaurants that we're wanting to try out as well be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you like this video and want to see more of our eats and stuff that we're doing in florida be sure to comment down below and tell us where you'd like for us to go what you'd like for us to see thank you all so much for watching and coming along on our adventures we will see y'all in our next video